Hey guys, my name is Shreesh. So welcome to another episode of the best Android home screen setups. Now I know I don't do these on pretty consistent basis. I don't really do them pretty often. Uh, but nevertheless, here I am with another episode. And in this video, I've collaborated with my friend Soji Gray uh, from the Device Hub. He makes really good quality videos, definitely better than me. If you like his part of the video, which I'm sure you guys will, then be sure to subscribe to his channel by following the link in the description box below. And with that being said, let's get started with the first home screen setup of the video. On to Soji now. Hey guys, I go by the name Soji Gray. It really feels good to be on Shurish's channel. Thank you so much, Shurish, for inviting me on your channel. And I hope everyone is staying safe out there. I mean, maintain social distancing and do whatever your government tells you to do in relation to killing this COVID-19 pandemic. So normally what I like to do is that I like to build my setup from the wallpaper. So the wallpaper is going to determine how my setup is going to look at the end of the day. This wallpaper is an amazing wallpaper. You have the sea wave and it has this blue white colors and it has the dark sand on the left. Now these icons are going to be set up in a 2x7 format and the icon pack I'm going to use is the sliced icon pack. So I know a lot of you are going to ask the launcher I'm using in the setup. Now I'm using Launcher V2 Launcher. I feel that is the best looking launcher out there. If you want something really cool, really amazing, Launcher Launcher is an amazing one. So that is the launcher I'm using in the setup. Moving on to the icon pack, I'm using sliced icons and the sliced icon family has amazing colorful looking uh, icons and it really brings the setup to life. As you can see, the wallpaper is dark looking and now if we have colorful icons, it's going to make the icons pop on your display. So if you do want to have your setup pop on the display, I think this wallpaper with the combination of slice icon pack is going to do the magic. Moving on to the top, we have an amazing but simple widget from Outline KWGT. You guys know that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication and I feel this widget does that. Now the widget is from Outline KWGT and it's called Outline W87. Now you must take note that for you to install any KWGT plugin, you'd have to have KWGT Pro and so just have that in mind. Now this widget gives us a day and a date in this very simple text format and I love how slanted it looks. In general, it makes the setup look very simple. As you can see, this setup is going to fit someone who likes to use their phone in one-handed mode, especially on the left side. Uh, I know there are a lot of huge phones out there these days and you know, having smaller hands can be very difficult. So if you have a setup like this, it will be easy to tap the icons on the left side. However, if you're a right-handed person too, you can also get a wallpaper that reflects the same, or you can actually invert this wallpaper and then have the icons on the right side so that you can easily have access to them. So thank you Shresh for having me on your channel. This is what I have for you guys and I'll catch you in another one. So thanks to Soji. And then moving ahead with the second home screen setup. This right here is a fairly minimal home screen setup out there. So a lot of people I know, a lot of people actually enjoy these minimal home screen setups. And this right here is definitely something that you should try out. Now the highlight of the home screen setup is the wallpaper itself. The wallpaper has been extracted from minimalist wallpapers and I really love how these geometric shapes actually synchronize with the overall widget and the overall aesthetics of the setup. Moving ahead, we have this widget from Minism for KWGT. So definitely another KWGT based widget. Now under Minism KWGT, this is widget 008 or minimal 008. The widget as well is fairly minimal, uh, not a lot of stuff in there, just the date and day. And I think that's how most minimal home screen setups should be. And then moving ahead towards icons. The icon pack used here is pineapple icon pack. Overall, the icons are vibrant and materialistic, something I really adore. Now, the desktop grid here is 7x7. On the home screen itself, I've just placed three icons, Instagram, Chrome, and camera. So these three are my most used applications. They can be different for you guys. So you need to set your icons accordingly. The icon size here is 75%. And to tie up all of these together, the launcher used is the launcher V2. So yes, if you're someone like me who likes and adores minimal things and minimal home screen setups in general, then definitely you should try this one out. Again, the links are in the description box below. And that's about it. Thanks to Soji for joining me on the video. And again, be sure to subscribe to his channel as well as my channel if you are here for the first time. And with that being said, this is me, Shreesh, and I'm signing out. Thank you for watching.